Welcome to Palmer's here in the village, where you will find breakfast and lunch served daily. This year is Palmer's 10th anniversary. Please join us as we go in, check out Palmer's, and meet the owners. All starting now, right here on Golden Isles TV. We're back with Golden Isles TV and I'm with Palmer Fortune of Palmer's Village Cafe. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? Thanks Good. for having us. You're welcome. So it's a beautiful day and we have Palmer's in the background. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you always have a wait at Palmer's. The food is delicious. Well, thank you. Um, we're grateful for the business. We have a great chef, great staff. And mm -hmm. um, so we're about a 90% scratch kitchen. So we take pride in breakfast and right. we try to do it from scratch. So. Absolutely. Well, this is your 10th anniversary. That's why we're here. We're helping celebrate the 10th anniversary of Palmer's. Give me goosebumps. That's a, <laughs> that's a miracle in itself if you knew me. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, tell us, how did you get started? Uh, my phone rang. This was a restaurant for years, kind of a staple here called Dresner's. Yes, and, yes, um, Dresner's. I think October of 2010, um, a good friend of mine, Bill Disk, called me on the phone mm -hmm. and said, hey, I know the owner of the building that housed Dresner's and they just closed and there might be an opportunity. Wow. And John Belichick and I were, were working together outside of the restaurant business and mm -hmm. he's a very, he's a five-star trained chef and he was out of the food business and I said, hey, if, if you want to get back in the kitchen, I'll take the risk. And right. after tying him down and begging him to do it, he, find, he and his wife actually finally agreed and here we are 10 years. We opened December 3rd of 2010. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Well, um, how does it feel to be celebrating the 10th anniversary? I'm not sure. I, I really <laughs> wasn't aware of it until you brought it to my attention. But um, <laughs> it's probably the longest thing I've done at once in my whole lifetime. So it, it feels right. pretty cool. And yeah. you know, I'd like to thank all the people that have worked with us throughout the years and mm -hmm. made it what it is. You know, we still have front of the house staff that have been with us for nine years, Rob and Karen. And right. I'd like to say thank you to them and just everyone that's had anything to do with Palmer's Village Cafe. Mm -hmm that's allowed me to stand here with you today. I'm very, very thankful to those people. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, thank you to everyone and, and to all the people that have come over the years. A lot of tourists, a lot of locals. Yep, we love our locals. Mm -hmm. The locals make us who we are. Right. Uh, the tourists aren't here all year. Yeah. And if we could figure out a way to get a local line and a tourist line without offending people in the busy season, <laughs> yeah. we would do that and move the locals into the front of the line. But Aww. we'd really like to say thank you to all the locals. They've, they've allowed us to have a job and a career. So we're really grateful for that. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so what do you think the secret of your success is? I don't know that it's a secret. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's there's three philosophies that we try to go by in the restaurant business and that's good, quality, consistent food is one. Treat people how you want to be treated is number two mm -hmm. and keep it as clean as you can keep it. And if we, I mean, I think we do a decent job of just focusing on those three things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was told a long time ago in Nashville, Tennessee, by a wise man that those are really the three things you need to focus on. And our staff and John Belichick, they do a great job just focusing on those three things. So Excellent. That, that's our secret. So you've, you've done that. You've been consistent for a long time. So obviously that's a great formula and a great philosophy. Well, the people that, that, that run our restaurant for us, that mm -hmm. work every day and are in the mm -hmm. trenches, mm -hmm. they're the ones that do it. So, right, yeah. right. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks We've, for having us. Absolutely. And we go appreciate eat at Palmer's it. Village Cafe. It, eat at Palmer's. Look, thank the you. lines died down, so it's time to come <laughs> to Palmer's. Hi, we're here with John Belichick, and he is Chef JB, other, otherwise known as Chef JB. Is that right? Correct, yes. So you have been at Palmer's ever since uh, you founded it with Palmer, correct? Palmer and I went into this endeavor uh, together. It was just an opportunity that ended up in our laps, and we decided to take the venture together. And it's been a ten long, ten long year uh, adventure, and it's been well so far. We, we, I think we've helped support the community. This community has supported us, and we've given a lot of people some great opportunities to learn some new trade, 
and to, you know, just to make an income and support locally. That's awesome. Well, um, you're known for your food, of course, um, and, and the chef has everything to do with the food and what goes on in the kitchen. So what is your secret to, to all this amazing food? Well, you have, it, it's not a one person deal. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I, we've got a great staff. Mm -hmm. um, the crew I have, they're always willing to learn new things. They're always willing to do whatever is expected and, and to work with a matter of urgency. Mm -hmm. um, they, they have standards. They, you know, they, I just, we try to instill for them to be thinking that they're feeding their families rather than just they work in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And once you get that mentality going, mm -hmm. things taste better, your service is better because you're doing something not only that you may like, but you're doing it for someone that you love because you're thinking of your family and it, it just exudes off into everything that you do from there. Right, it sounds like you kind of put that genuine touch to each and every dish and your servers um, understand that and it's it's all genuine and from the heart. Yes ma'am, and it's just not the servers, it, it rolls down from the dishwashers to our <laughs> prep cooks to our line cooks right, to the, our purveyors that I deal with on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Um, they all know that we have a standard here at Palmer's and we expect it to be upheld. Absolutely. Well, it shows because you've got lines out the door and people waiting all the time and the food is amazing and we just appreciate uh, you and Palmer in, in the community here in the Golden Isles. Well, we do also and thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to be on your show. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Bye-bye. Right, take care. Thank you.